Good afternoon, my name is Thomas Almholt. We're here at CES today uh, showing a Sigfox demo, a Sigfox based demo. We are using uh, our CC1120 plus MSB430 long range, low power uh, devices to connect directly to a Sigfox uh, enabled backend. The Sigfox network is going to be a global network of, uh, that enables the Internet of Things and they will do data aggregation directly from these very small and low power sensor networks to a global backend. Here we're showing uh, the data coming into the backend. And the, after the data is collected uh, on the Sigfox backend, uh, we have partnered with a second uh, cloud partner called Plasma, and they are gonna do data aggregation, data display, and uh, big data collection. And uh, to, sh to talk more about that, I'm going to hand it over to Mahesh Ramu from uh, Plasma. Thank you. Hi, this is uh, Mahesh Ramu from uh, Plasma Computing. So Thomas just explained to us uh, how devices are deployed, and uh, you know Sigfox is able to transmit the data back into the backend. Now, one important aspect of once you get the data from those devices is that you have to process the data, you have to get, get a hold of the data, store the data, analyze the data, visualize it, and then make sure that this data is also combined with the rest of data that is in your existing IT systems. And our platform, which is called connect to me is uh, the one that does uh, makes this possible, actually. So what we see on the screen here is that all the devices are sending in data, uh, and then our uh, platform is getting all the data and then merging it all together uh, with the existing IT systems and then making it useful for the company that is using uh, the IoT systems. So we saw the challenge that uh, you know usually IoT exists as an island because it is not people are not able to get IoT uh, embedded into their existing IT systems. And with C2M, we solve the problem by actually making it easier for you to work with all the systems. On the screen, what we see is uh, you see those little circles. Those are the sensors that are placed at various points inside of this uh, CES floor. And you can see the readings on them, 15, 21, 28, all of those. What it means is what is the sound level at each of those uh, spots on the floor. So we are getting those sensor, uh, the uh, audio information from those sensors piped into the backend system via Sigfox and uh, you know, displaying it on the screen for you. We, we measure three things here, uh, the audio level, the temperature at each of those stations, and also uh, you know, what is the battery level for each of those devices. So as you can see, uh, you know, in a nice uh, uh, visual form, we are able to display this data. Imagine if you're the city of San Francisco or some other large city that has a lot of devices deployed across the city, you are able to visualize all of those on a map and then may take suitable actions based on what you see on the chart. For more information, please visit us, uh, the links that are below or you can also look up uh, www.ti.com or www.plasmacomp.com or sigfox.com. Thank you for watching.